If you're hoarding, it could be a clear sign that you have a problem. Let's go. Good afternoon, one sober to another here. If you haven't taken the chance to subscribe to the channel, hit it now so that way you can be in the know of everything that is sobriety related and something on this channel might save your life. So, hoarding. Hoarding is one of the staples that I, as an alcoholic, was definitely guilty of. I became a hoarder because I was embarrassed of the amount of alcohol that I was consuming. And I know a lot of you out there can relate to it. Some of us hide bottles, some of us stockpile trash bags. And by the end of this video, you're gonna understand how this relates to you in such a way that you need to pass this on to somebody else. And if it's something you recognize in your own life, it's time to make a change. And we're gonna talk about that. So, on one occasion, I had hoarded so many bottle beers, so many bottle beers, so many bottles of beer that I had to call for help in order to get it all removed. And who did I call? I called my father-in-law. He came to a place that was three and a half hours away from where we live in order to help me clear out my wreckage. The reason this came to light was, is because in a few videos back, I told you about a time where I answered a phone when I shouldn't have answered the phone and then the person showed up at my door and it became this huge mess and it was actually the turning point or wanting the turning points in my sobriety or my journey to it. There was so much that the person felt the need to take pictures of the condition of my apartment. When he did that, I, I didn't even know because I was still super drunk at the time, so I didn't even realize what was going on. But he sent those pictures to my command. And if that rings a bell to you, then you may be in a situation that you need help and you might want to get some. So here's the deal. So those pictures ended up in the hands of somebody who gave me an ultimatum that I had about two hours or so, two hours, three hours to clean it all out. Otherwise, those pictures were gonna go somewhere else and I was gonna be in even more of a mess. Now at some point, this could have been considered enabling because this actually gave me an out, which is entirely dangerous for an alcoholic. You give me an out, if you give me an inch, I'm gonna take a mile. If you give me an out, I'm definitely gonna take it. So, when my father-in-law got to the apartment, not only was it a disgusting, chaotic mess, but beer bottles had covered every single inch of living space and counter space and closet space, bed space, you name it. Everything was completely covered in beer bottles. Now this is, this is a disgusting mess to a lot of folks out there and it should have been a grotesque mess to myself that I should have recognized long before it happened. But how does it happen? It happens by each time that I drank, instead of taking it out to the trash, I, I was embarrassed and um, self-loathing to the point where I didn't want anyone else to know exactly how much I was consuming. So it just, it just grew and grew and grew and grew out of control. And it wasn't, it wasn't a nest egg or anything like that. So it didn't really have to do with um, hoarders in the sense of I'm attached to these objects. It was a sense of disparity and disappointment of myself that I didn't take them out. I'm allergic to penicillin. And in each of those bottles, there was just enough residue of alcohol left that it, it turned into mold. So if you think about it in that perspective, a couple thousand bottles of beer 
with mold in the bottle of them, bottom of them create quite the um, quite the situation for me, really. So where does this lead? This led to my father-in-law coming over and he helped me take the stuff out. I told you how much there was and we bagged those bottles for probably, I don't know, shit, seven hours. So it took us seven hours to bag it all. And then to get it out, took an additional hour and a half to two hours. Uh, well, I think maybe three hours. But it turned into an all day event. And that is just one of the locations that I lived. The previous locations that I lived, in one case, I did even worse. Um, well, yeah, so I had a garage, a full-size garage that could fit two cars in it, filled from the top to the bottom. Literally, there was probably six inches of space between the, the ceiling and the, the pile of bottles and boxes from my, my alcohol use. And that was a stockpile of about a year and a half. It's problematic in many, many ways, not just for the hoarding factor. And if you are out there and you are at the point where you're stashing trash because you're embarrassed or afraid or disappointed or ashamed to take it out, this could be you. And this, this, the problem that it breeds is monumental. So that's why I'm doing this, this little video is because it can turn into a health hazard. And moreover, that's what's going into your body. So us as alcoholics don't recognize exactly what we do to our bodies. But if you're able to see that from the outside looking in, you know, take it from me. That, that is just something that can get so out of control so fast that you can get evicted from your, your apartment or your house. You can, you know, develop huge respiratory issues, um, not to mention what you're doing to your liver and not to mention what you're doing to your esophagus and your stomach lining and your heart and on and on and on about the, the physio physiological damages that you're doing to yourself your environmental hazard is becoming even more. If you're out there hoarding, listen to me. It's time to stop. And if you can't do it on your own, call somebody to help you out. There are links below. And if this video has been any kind of substance for you, you've gotten any value out of just listening to me go on and on, hit that like button below so we can spread this out to people who need it. If you haven't become one of the, the one sober to another squad yet, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. I do daily reflections every single day and I just want everybody to know out there that I personally love you and I respect you and I don't judge you and I know the hardship and I know the struggle of dealing with alcoholism and addiction and many more situations in life, as well as child abuse, child abandonment, rejection. You know, it all kind of goes hand in hand with what creates the condition, for me anyway, of my alcoholism. And if you, the shoe fits, you know, you, you may need some help and you're afraid to ask. I'm on Instagram at one sober to another. Reach out to me if you want to via DM or just follow me and you might get some additional insights as well. This is not a pitch by any means. Just hoarding is something that, um, you know, it's a large indicator of bigger problems and it can lead to a lot of other issues. Uh, hoarding sounds like a small deal, um, but if you take a look at your life and if someone else is out there doing the same thing, you know, that that environment becomes non-conducive to a normal living structure. And if you're trying to recover and you have gone through a, a rehab or detox and you go back to that environment and it's not cleaned out, chances are that you're going to end up going back to the, the number one solution that you know best to help you with your life and numb your situation. 
Look, check out the daily reflections. I'm there every morning with you and I will keep sending them out until I get shut down. Once over to another, you have a good evening.